who knew that you could take silence, which I think for many of us is a, how do I want to describe this? A, a negative. It's a taking away. It's a causing to remove things. I don't think we look at it as you bring forward for us that silence is actually very embodied, isn't it? It is very active in its nature. That's what I try to show that silence in itself, a holy silence in itself is not a negative in itself, but it's a positive disposition that opens our soul to listen to God's voice, to obey God's will. And so it's a fundamental disposition of openness. So it's not simply a negative reality of removing the noise, but it's a necessarily linked with a disposition to listen, to open up ourselves to the holy voice of